In the Ucreate Studio, we have everything you'll need to make a miniature copy of yourself. You will need an Xbox Connect sensor, a turntable, ScanX software, a 3D printer, and Cura software. First of all, plug in the sensor and open up the ScanX software. We can use ScanX to scan a variety of subjects, including a full room. We will use the body setting for our selfie and double the height. These settings fix the bounding box, which is the maximum area we can scan. Once you hit start, you'll see a representation of your bounding box appear. Position your subject in the bounding box and use the color coding to position the camera at the appropriate distance. If your subject appears red, the camera is too close. If they are blue, the camera is too far. Green is just right. It is a good idea to start the scan at the subject's waist, so they are contained in the bounding box. When you're ready, activate the turntable and click record at the top left corner of the Sconnect software. As the scan proceeds, Sconnect will show the areas which have already been covered, so move up and down the subject until you have achieved full coverage. Once you are done, click stop in the top left corner and a replica of your scan will appear. The next step is to move on to the Reconstruction tab, where we can create a full definition model, whereas the previous model was at low definition. In the Process tab, you'll have some basic editing tools at your disposal. Most importantly for 3D printing, we will need to remove any holes by running the watertight operation. You may also, as we do here, Use the Move and Crop tool to remove the turntable from the scan. Now you are ready to export the selfie for printing. Export your model as an STL file and set the number of faces to match the detail you'd like. More faces means more detail. Click Export and you're ready to move on to printing. Open up Cura and see links in the description for more details on how to use Cura. Select your printer, which in this case will be the Ultimaker 2 Go. Open up your STL file, make sure supports and build plate adhesion are enabled, and click Prepare to get an idea of how the model will look. By selecting Layer View, you will notice that the model requires a large number of supports, and it can be better to rotate the object onto its back. In this way, the supports do not cover the face and the front of the subject, where we would like most of the detail to be preserved. Now save the model to a removable device, and you're ready to move on to our 3D printing video, linked in the description, to create your final model.